Okay, today I'm going to be bringing you 12 gates, all the gates of that hidden path between Gebura and Malkuth, the quality and quantity of your connection to your own unique power, your own unique gift, okay? Now, the total here, a gates 119 through 130, is one, one linear gate, two triangular gates, four quadrangular gates, five, or four pentangular gates, and one hexangular gate, okay? So, first gate is that linear gate from Gebura to Malkuth and back. And this, of course, informs you in detail of your connection, your incarnational connection to your unique gift that you have to present to the universe that only you can present to the universe. So with this gate, you learn all about that connection, and you can improve upon that connection through working this linear gate, okay? Now, the next three gates, or actually the next seven gates, are all about the relationship between this power that you have and your connection to the collectives that we spoke about in the last video. Okay? So the first seven of these gates are about this relationship between these two paths. Now, the first gate, the triangular gate, gate number 120, is from Gebura to Malkuth, back up the hidden path to Gedjula and across the path of Aleph and then back around. Okay, <clears throat> so this unites the two gates, the, the power and the collective via Aleph. Okay, now the most important thing here is this connection of Aleph. Okay. The next one, gate 121, goes from Gebura, the hidden path to Malkuth, hidden path up to Gedjula, up the path of Leo to Tiferet, and then down the path of Virgo to Gebura, and then back around. So this ties it in, this unifies the whole dynamic here between these two paths with Tiferet, the solitary self. And this explains how the solitary self regulates the connections between these two and how that informs the incarnation. Because remember, it's the solitary self that is incarnating, okay? And it has the power and the collective involved, okay? The next gate is gate 122, and this takes it a step higher, the connection a step higher. So it begins in Gebura, a hidden path to Malkuth, hidden path to Gedjula, up the path of Jupiter to Hokma, cross the path of Shin, to Bina, down the path of Mars to Gibura, and then back around. Now, this takes it out of the realm of the solitary self and begins to introduce the, <clears throat> the supernal self between the greater self and the Hakma self, okay? So the really, really important part of this is that connection of Shin. That ties it all together, okay? Now, <clears throat> the next gate 
takes the next four gates, takes that relationship up to Kether. Okay, so the gate number 123 goes from Gebura down the hidden path to Malkuth, up the hidden path to Gejula, up that path of Jupiter to Hokma, and then up the path of Aries to Kether, and then down that hidden path to Gebura, and of course back around. Okay? So, that brings Kether into the mix. And the most important parts of this gate are number one, the path of he Aries and the path of Gimel Jupiter. This is the most important because this is its connection really to Catherine and of course the hidden path down to Gibu down to Gibura. But okay. Now <clears throat> the next gate, 124, is a very balanced gate. Okay. Now it comes from Gabura, down the hidden path to Malkuth, up the hidden path to Gedjula, up the path of Gimel, Jupiter, to Hokma, up the path of He, Ares, to Kether, down the path of Vav, Taurus, to Bina, and then down the path Daleth to Gebura, and then back around. Okay, so this takes this connection to the supernal realm and shows how important, really, these two uh, hidden paths to Malkuth are in terms of the incarnation. And this is all driven here by the supernal realm. Okay. Now, path 125 is again a very balanced uh, gate and its uh, apex is Kether. Okay, so we start from Gebuah, go down the hidden path to Malkuth, up the hidden path to Gejula, up the hidden path directly to Kether, and then down that hidden path directly to Kibura, and then back around. So this is a gate that is composed entirely of hidden paths. So it's a very personal connection to Kether. Alrighty? Now, <clears throat> the final gate of this relationship between these two paths, gate number 126, and it is sort of uh, a mirror of gate 123. Okay, it goes down that hidden path to Malkuth from Gebura, up the hidden path to Gedjula, up that hidden path to Kether, down the path of Vav and Taurus to Pina, and then down the path of Daleth and Mars to Gebura and then back around, okay? That's very straightforward. Now, the final four paths are about the relationship between that power and first, the relationship between that power and the path of karma, that hidden path to Bina. Okay, then the other the final three gates there are about that, that path of power in connection with the path of the uh, unique quantity of a central meaning that you manifest, that connection between Malkuth and Hogma. Okay, first gate is again, it's really crunched up uh, triangle and it begins in Gebura, goes down the hidden path to Malkuth, flows up that hidden path to Bina, that path of karma, the, the, the 
the path that you are traversing through this incarnation and then down the path of Dalit and Mars back to Gibura. Okay, and back around. Okay, so this illuminates the relationship between your individual unique power and your individual unique karma, the path that you are walking and how these two combine in Malkuth, okay? Now, <clears throat> these final three are a reflection of the work we did in the last video relating the, the connection between Malkuth and Gedjula to the karmic path. But here, we are going to be relating the power you possess to the, the individual unique cluster of essential meanings that you manifest. So, the first gate here goes from Gebura, it's gate number 128, goes from Gebura to Malkuth. Malkuth, up that hidden path to Hokma, that path of essential meaning, up to Hokma, across the path of Shin to Bina, and then down the path of Daleth and Mars to Gebura and then back around. Now this very directly relates to uh, <clears throat> the connection with Hakma, but the important thing here is that path of Shin and that path of Mars, okay? okay. So, <clears throat> gate 129, again, is the same relationship between the power and the essential meaning, but it takes it up to Kether. Okay, so we go from Gebura down to Malkuth, up from Malkuth along the hidden path all the way to Hakma, up the path of He Ares to Kether, and then down that hidden path to Gebura, and then back around. Okay. And again, what that does is it connects this dynamic, this powerful interchange between the power that you possess and the essential meaning, connects it with Kether. Okay. And our final gate for the day is the gate 130. And it again connects this dynamic with the supernal realm entirely, and it goes from Gebura down the hidden path to Malkuth, up that hidden path of essential meaning, all the way up to Hokma, the path of He, Ares to Kether, Vav, Taurus, down to Bina, and then Mars, Daleth, down to Gebura, and then back around. This unites these two, that path of your power and the path of uh, your essential meaning with the entire supernal realm and the importance of these connections. Okay. So, those are our gates for today. I'll see you next time. Till then, bye-bye.